We're here on the south coast of Angel Island on Pearls Beach, looking at this incredible layered rock next to me. So what makes this rock special is this very strong planar fabric. It almost looks like pages of a book. It's so fine. This is a fabric that forms during extreme strain, flattening and shearing associated with very deeply derived faulting. This represents very high strain in these rocks, in particular very high shear strain. So this is called a myelinite. The myelinite formed during deformation of these rocks within a subduction zone. And based on the alignment of the characteristic high pressure metamorphic minerals, we can say that this shearing occurred at deep depths within a subduction zone. So if we compare this to these rocks over here behind me, these rocks are massive. They don't have a planar fabric at all. They've been deformed. But the boundary between the planar fabric rocks and the massive rocks is this contorted zone of brecciation that has lots of different rocks in it. Blue schist, green schist, broken up veins. This is a major fault zone. This juxtaposes highly deformed and less deformed rocks. And based on the minerals formed within the fault zone, we know that this fault was active at great depths in a subduction zone. Blue schist facies, so maybe 30 to 40 kilometers depth below the surface of the Earth. Those are the depths where great earthquakes nucleate and where seismic tremor occurs in modern subduction zones. So this is an example of where we can actually study those processes in situ within a deeply active fault.